such a treat. My first guest tonight is an Emmy award-winning journalist who hosts The Lead and State of the Union on CNN. Please welcome our friend, Mr. Jake Tapper. Nice to see you again. How, how are you doing? I'm well. I bring you greetings from Vice President Pounds. Oh, excellent, excellent. That's his new name. I know, I know. <laughs> thank you, uh, thank you for being here. You of know, course. we're live. It's late. You've had a full day already with the news and you know, traffic and weather on the ones. What you guys <laughs> do over there? <laughs> now, I, I, okay. Uh, third debate. Yes. Um, obviously, I want to get into who you think won, but ultimately, didn't America win? That there's only one night of debates this time? <laughs> Wasn't that, isn't that satisfying? You get to see everybody at once up there? I think, but you know, America's gonna lose because in the next debates, it's gonna be two again because Tom Steyer qualified, so now there are 11 candidates, so. Right. It's probably gonna be a five and a six. What can we do to take Steyer out? Because I can't do two <laughs> nights of this. It doesn't have to be Steyer, it just has to be this. someone. It just needs to be someone. Why can't they just do 11 in one night? Is there some law that says you can't have 11? Is it can't be a prime number? What's I going did, on? I did an, I, I agree, I did an 11 person debate. Who? When, when? It was in the Reagan debate in 2015, the Reagan Library debate, and Carly Fiorina kind of remember, she kind of right, 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 campaigned right. her way onto the stage. Sure. And we did 11. No, here's the thing you, you can answer. The, you've, as I said, you've hosted these debates yeah. before, you, you've hosted one of the Democratic debates already. That's right, yeah. yeah. Exactly. So, what is it like when you've got that huge gang up there? Because I've been trying to think back to the 2015 2016 debates when there were 17 Republicans at one point. Yeah. What is it like to ride herd on those people? It's not fun. It's not. <laughs> and it's Bernie Sanders accused you in the last debate that you moderated of using GOP talking points. <laughs> He almost did that to Stephanopoulos tonight, too, uh, yeah. with the same kind of... Yeah, I mean, the, it wasn't a very effective GOP talking point. GOP talking points about Medicare for All would be like, the lines are going to be long, people are going to die. All I did was mm -hmm. say, your taxes go up, the premiums will be eliminated, you'll be universal coverage. I don't know. Mm -hmm. We gamed it out. We figured he was going to attack me anyway. Mm -hmm. How much did Mitch McConnell pay you? <laughs> <laughs> do you expect that kind of pushback from candidates? Yeah, definitely. And like I said, we, you know, we do these uh, mock debates and, you know, these very talented producers learn the parts and we, we go through them just to see, like, what questions will be, will be good. Do you need anybody to play Bernie? Because I really <laughs> love doing that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, do you backseat drive when you're watching? Can you watch it and just enjoy it? Or do you backseat drive like, come on, George, follow-up question. Are you yelling at the screen at the moderators up there? Well, certainly not at George. Um, well, I thought he did, I thought that. he did a great job. Oh, did you? Uh, I mean, I think. Well, what is it like when you go see Carrot Top? I mean, what is it? Is... <laughs> Mostly, I'm asking. I'm just asking him for workout help. You know, like <laughs> he's some tips. Cut. He he's is cut. shredded I know. like a Julian salad. Okay, <laughs> so let's get to the debates now. Ten people on stage. Yeah. Um, five months till Iowa. Mm -hmm. Who was thirsty? Where you and I met, by the way. We did. We met in Iowa. We, Isn't that I, sweet? Yes. We don't have time for that story tonight, but <laughs> come back and we'll tell that story. Okay. Who was thirsty for a big moment and who actually got one? Um, I don't think anyone got a big moment. Uh, I, I think I didn't see anything happen tonight that's going to change the trajectory too much of the three front runners, Warren mm -hmm. Biden and Sanders. What'd you make of? Uh, I thought that was kind of bold of Beto to go. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, I'm coming for your AR. 15s and your AK-47s. I think we know he's not going to run for Senate in Texas. Uh, I guess so. I guess so. I mean, you can't get universal background checks through the Senate. I don't know how you're going to get 16 million AR-15s and semi-automatic weapons so confiscated. Who, who else do you think did well? I thought Cory Booker had a good night. Senator Cory Booker had a, had a good night. Was there a particular moment for him? or? Well, his, just, his message is different from the other candidates because he talks, he has this very uplifting message of love and bringing the country together. Um, and uh, it's just different. I, I, yeah, I don't know if it's going to be enough for him. I mean, right now, Joe Biden is still the front runner at about 24%. And then you have uh, Sanders and Warren, each just under 20. That's almost two thirds of the Democratic electorate is with those three candidates. So it's going to be tough to, to burst through. And even candidates that have burst through, like Kamala Harris, in that first debate, you then have to capitalize on it. And 
it didn't really work out for her. At least no, she kind of faded after that. Her sort of her second attack at Joe the second time around didn't happen. Yeah. Now there was a lot of. Um, um, there, there was a lot of uh, back and forth between Julian Castro and Joe Biden. Yeah, the audience. Is someone didn't paying seem more... Julian Castro to attack Joe Biden, <laughs> or did Joe Biden kick Julian Castro's dog? <laughs> it was a tough attack. I mean, he he seemed to be suggesting that Joe Biden wasn't all there and had forgotten something he had said. Right, it was and there an... were several attacks, not just that one. Yeah, I mean, the one about like you want the credit for Obama's good things but not his bad things. I mean, Cory Booker had done that. At the last debate, mm -hmm. he, he was just smilier about it, so maybe you didn't remember it. Mm -hmm. um, but, but the one about the age, I thought, was, uh, look, he's, Castro's campaign is, is struggling, and he needs to... He's really trying to make this generational argument. And there are other candidates, uh, Congressman Ryan from Ohio, who didn't make the debate stage, who has also said that Joe Biden is not as sharp as he used to be and not as eloquent as he used to be. But uh, you saw the audience turned... On Castro when he said that it was and also I think he was wrong I think that what Biden thinks he had said he had actually said right that is actually I think that is the fact check that what he was accusing Biden of saying no you said we have to pay in Biden never said that yeah so he was kind of mean and inaccurate <laughs> and on that happy note we have to take a quick commercial <laughs> break we'll be right back with more Jake Tapper